Hello all, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another video. Hey everyone, if you are new in this channel, so this is my channel Tech with Pri and I post tech videos in every Monday and Thursday. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed the channel, just go ahead and click the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. All right. So before starting the video guys, so if you are interested to buy the equipment that I use, so you can go ahead and check it out. So I have also posted the link here. So this is the mic I use from Boya and this is the tripod from Proton. Okay, so the link is there in the description. You can go ahead and check it out. All right. So in my last video, we have understood about the proxy server. What is proxy server and how it works. And also I have shown you the free proxy server that you can use online. All right. So guys, don't worry if you miss the video. I'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link of the last video right now here. OK, and you make sure you watch the full video, guys, because we are going to learn a very important topic today. So let's see what we are going to learn today. OK, so first we'll understand what is VPN and that's our main topic today. VPN or the virtual private network. OK, so first we'll understand what is VPN. Next, how VPN works. OK. Uh, next, why should we use VPN? We'll discuss that. And uh, then the very interesting, the free VPN versus the paid VPN, like which VPN service you should use. I'm going to discuss with you. And finally, the most interesting, uh, some free and paid VPN service that you can use on your mobile and your laptop. OK. So first, we'll understand the difference between the free VPN and the paid VPN. Then I will let you know some VPN services that you can use from free and from uh, paid service also. OK, and that can be applicable on your mobile. Like you can uh, use the application version or the app version or you can use directly in the laptop or your desktop. OK, sounds good. So let's get started. So virtual private network or VPN. So VPN is a service that allows you to connect with the Internet over a secure and encrypted tunnel. OK, so you can understand by the uh, so-called definition that your connection will be secure by using VPN and it would be encrypted. That means like nobody or the hackers won't be able to access your data. Right. So we'll understand in the next slide with the help of the diagram itself. Let's move on to the next point. Uh, it follows the server client architecture. So guys, uh, I believe in the starting video of what is server, we understood the concept of server client architecture, right? So if you're following my video, you already know the concept. So if you are new today in this channel, so don't worry, the link will be there in the description. Also, you can find the link in suggested video to check out my all the previous videos. So let's understand this definition and the server client architecture in the help of a diagram and with simple example like you know that I always do. All right, let's see. So how VPN works. So suppose we have a computer or desktop, anything. And we are requesting for a website called example.com. OK. So what happens whenever you try to connect with a website? Or if you are requesting for a website, first your request will go to your ISP. ISP stands for Internet Service Provider, who is providing you the service. Either it can be like uh, City Broadband or like Megbella or like Geofiber. So anything who is providing you the Internet service, right? So first it is going to your ISP, Internet Service Provider. And from then it is routing to your web server finally where the example.com page is loaded right so you are searching for example.com and it is listed in the your isp data so from where you are searching for example.com with your public ip address all this information gets stored in isp so guys any confusion about public ip address ip address but the video is already there in my channel you can go and clear the concept right as i mentioned in the first video the video will be linked if you want to have better understanding, make sure you're following all of my videos from the beginning. OK, now, so all the information will be there uh, with the Internet Service Provider. OK, now, suppose your government has declared that this example.com, this website 
cannot be uh, accessed by uh, the local people of this country okay but you have connected with the example.com and your information is stored to isp so your government can ask to your isp okay uh, give me the data and let me see who are still trying to access the example.com your ip address will be there and uh, like and your location would be easily identified with your public ip address and then you know what can happen with you right so the government can ask to the isp for the details always they have the right so this is the normal scenario without using a vpn without securing your network not only that also you know about the hacker right we all know how dangerous people they are and they can hack our data they can uh, stole our information like maybe credit card number credit card pin any important information right so we have to save from the hacker now let's see what is the benefit of using vpn or the virtual private network okay and as you can see uh, this way hacker will stole your information and will run and you won't be able to do anything about it right now while accessing vpn in the same way you have a computer or laptop or you are trying to access the same website example.com and it is going to your isp first and before visiting to web server it will go to the vpn server okay as because you are connected to the vpn now let's see how it works so you have to install a vpn client in your local machine like in your desktop or laptop so if you are working in an it organization or any big company so you are familiar with the term vpn client right so vpn client uh, could be anything like from uh, it can be from cisco this is cisco anyconnect and uh, there are many like if you are using a uh, nord vpn so you are going to have the their client vpn client software so what is the purpose of this vpn client you have to log in to the vpn server first from the vpn client so first from your system laptop or desktop you open the vpn client software okay and then it will ask for the username and the password right and that username password will provide you by the vpn company itself like who is providing the vpn service so it can be cisco it can be microsoft it can be any other so they will provide you a username and password after you choose their subscription or you paid uh, um, amount of money for that so after the login if your username and password is right so the vpn server would tell okay fine you can access the network and then there will be a tunnel between your system to the vpn server and that is a secure tunnel where your data is encrypted okay so no need to worry for that now what's the benefit of it so the isp won't be able to uh, find your ip address details or anything like the which websites you are trying to access because it is connected through a secure tunnel and that is encrypted and if hacker wants to steal your information they won't be able to do because the data is encrypted again so as you can understand the benefit of it right so once you connected to the vpn server from your system to the vpn server the whole road is blocked and the whole road is like it is a tunnel and that is highly secure now suppose uh, suppose you purchased uh, from not vpn right uh, it is a paid service and you can choose there which of which location server you want to access suppose example.com is only available in the us right and uh, out of us people like from india uh, you won't be able to access so what you will do in the not vpn for an example you can choose the server location as us so the vpn client will connect to the server from us location now you are connected to the us vpn server and you would be easily able to access the example.com from their web server right and the web server will also see the request is coming from the us itself because the server is located in the us and the web server is going to get uh, the ip address from the vpn server not your ip address so i hope the concept of vpn is clear guys you understand how vpn works right and let's quickly see now why should we use vpn so to protect our privacy so next so this is very like a uh, very important point because like we all have a habit of using public wifi right so whenever we found public wifi in the mall or in like in anywhere in the cafe 
so we uh, use like okay this is a public wi-fi free wi-fi i don't need to pay money for that okay but you never know in this in such cases when the wi-fi is open it is very much less secure okay and easily a hacker or any person who has some technical knowledge they can access your data but if you are connected to a vpn so then the like nobody will be able to understand like what you are searching because all the data are encrypted so make sure next time when you are trying to connect to public wi-fi uh, your vpn connection is turned on now this is also very interesting point so uh, like purchasing cloud storage or any online service you receive different pricing depending on the countries so you will be able to see uh, many many countries are giving offer on certain product or certain things okay that your country is not giving but if you try to access this you have to connect vpn and you have to access their server like maybe uh, offer is going on in us so you have to connect to the us server vpn server to access that page access that offer to you okay so that's another benefit from that and this is very interesting guys uh, the free vpn versus the paid vpn okay so let's see what are the difference and then i will go to the example so in the free vpn what happened like you just need to turn on the vpn and it would automatically connect to a server so you won't be able to choose a particular location and there are there are limited server in the case of paid vpn we can see servers with backup facility so if one server is down or if one server is having more traffic so another server will give you the support for that so that's an advantage of using paid vpn next um, as you as i mentioned like um, the, in the free vpn the traffic will be more because we all want the free service and uh, also a same server is uh, sharing by many people so it's kind of concept of shared service more traffic means your connection will be slow right and uh, in the paid vpn the traffic can be handled very easily as because you have the facility of backup slower speed already discussed and in paid vpn you will get faster speed because of the extra server bandwidth limits so this is very important so in free vpn you get certain bandwidth limits uh, that you can use uh, using the vpn and uh, in the paid vpn the bandwidth increase always okay so you paid the money you get more benefit that's the simple way next server selection option is not present as i mentioned like you won't be able to select any specific location in the free vpn but in the case of paid vpn you would be able to choose any different location server that you need and so free vpn can save the logs file and uh, paid vpn strict no log policy so the vpn i'm going to tell you about the nord vpn the express vpn all these vpns are uh, clearly mentioned that they do not uh, log policy so this is highly strict and as because this is a paid service so you are getting uh, more security right okay so now i'm going to show you quickly some free services and some paid services that you can use for your own vpn service okay so let's say quickly okay so i have opened these websites uh, that you can go ahead and check so don't worry i'm going to put the link in the description so the number one would be the cloudflare that would be the free vpn service that you can use and again uh, it can be used in the laptop also it can be used in the mobile and uh, next we have proton vpn so this is a free service also we have the paid option okay you can use that and next these are the options that you can use for the paid vpn it is the express vpn the first one and the next one is very famous nord vpn guys and the nord vpn is currently i'm using so maybe uh, in future i'm gonna uh, post a review video of nord vpn that you can use so guys that is it for today so i hope you understand the concept of vpn how it works the differences between paid vpn and free vpn and also i've shown you some free services and the paid services that you can use thank you for watching guys if you like this video hit the like button if you have any question come to the comment section and please please share this video with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people and in the next video we're going to understand about the difference between proxy server and the vpn server all right so see you in the next video stay safe bye bye